The explosive starts are key to Yawgmoth. Killing someone on turn 3, killing someone on turn 4. Like, look at this hand and look at Cauldron. And first of all, look at this. Look at this. He's also on 3 Twilight Mire, which I think is too many. And he should just be playing Urborg, but whatever. Great start. Great start. Yeah. We'll just play the Bowmasters. Uh, I feel flooded. I feel that this is going to be control or something. So I'm going to play these now before they have two mana for counterspell. So this is flooded strand gives me very control vibes. So we're going to go with that for control vibes. All right, let's go to combat, begin combat, begin combat, attack, attack. No, the only thing is you wanna keep your life total high. That's the only downside. Bolt to that, sure. Okay, so let's go one, two, let's go delighted halfling. They, wow, main deck, wild. I don't really want to deal with a Murktide here, so I'm going to take Bolt. I don't want a big Murktide here. I couldn't deal with a big Murktide, so we're going to chill and just take Bolt. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to court for one now, too. I'm going to get a delighted halfling. I'm going to get what? Okay. Okay. Okay, it's time we lose focus. Sometimes you lose focus on things. Here's a big Murktide. Oh, no. Oh, here comes a Merc. If they Murktide, we're just going to draw land and we're going to cord for Grist and we're just going to kill their Murktide and win the game. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. So this is the wizard's control deck. They shocked. Why did they shock that in? Because they have Snapcaster Flamenor. And they're debating if they do it now. Three Blooming Marshes. The mana has been an issue, but I mean, I would play two Blooming Marshes. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I guess we just pass the turn. We'll attack with the Young Wolf. Snapcaster, yes. They'll target Flame of Anor. We will cord for a Bowmaster when they cast that. All right, uh, green, green, bonk, green, done. Mm -hmm. Bowmaster, please. 
Bowmaster, please. Please, Bowmaster. I can't believe they're playing Lose Focus. What an interesting spell. Is this really better than mana? I guess it's better than mana. Yeah. I agree. All right, opponent. Let this happen. Stop resisting. You're going to get Bowmastered. You're going to get Bowmastered here. All right, let's get Bowmaster. Ping the Snapcaster. Okay, that worked out pretty nicely. Maybe. Creativity has some powerful cards, but P Creativity still struggles with the ring, I'd have to imagine. But who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Okay. Smack, smack. If they have Tidebinder, we're in a lot of trouble. Hopefully they just have a bunch of counter spells in their hand. We can keep attacking. Mm, that card's pretty useful. Really, really what you want here when your opponent's at 5 is an 0-5. Bonk, bonk. Well, hopefully they get... The, we, hopefully these two idiots get there. The Bowmaster Young Wolf team of boys yeah. I don't think this is traditional Murktide this is more wizards this is more wizard focused Murktide have we not seen a Lutri companion this could be a Lutri deck except for the bolts that's kind of hilarious it right, looks like we got underneath Looks like we got underneath. All right. Uh, I guess we want these things. We probably want scavenging ooze. Uh, that's probably it. Maybe we want to go for the throat for a Merc Tide. What's going to be bad? We probably don't need this. We probably don't need this. We probably don't want to run evolutions into counter spells. And if they have Flame of Anors, Agatha's not going to be that great. If they're playing 4x Flame of Anor, we probably don't want Agatha's. But let's cut... I kind of want to cut Agatha's because of the Flame of Anor. So let's... No, Agatha's is probably good. No, come back, Agatha's. Yeah. Uh, let's mulligan this. All right, well, I guess we're keeping. <clears throat> okay, all right, well. They don't want our little undying dudes coming back from the dead, which is just rude. Zap. We'll just play dude after dude after dude. We'll just cast dude into stern scolding after dude into stern scolding. Because they're just going to be playing a million freaking counter spells. They're just going to be playing all the counter spells. Alright, let's go to their upkeep, I suppose, and we'll endurance. I would usually get a basic forest here. We have this stupid Takanuma instead of Urborg. Because now I'm going to be weak to Blood Moon. But I do have the Baseju. We're doing this now so they'll tap out. And, and like they have to counter it now. Right? If they counter it now, then they'll be mana down for the whole turn. Sure. They're looking for their land. We're going to beat him down with Endurance. We're playing this. We're going one, two, three, four. Jorgenstein. 
Smash. All right, this feels pretty good. We have an unkillable Demon King Yog Father. Yeah, we kind of got underneath them. They got jammed up on Counterspell. That's the problem with playing too many Counterspells. Sometimes you could be sneaky and go underneath. <laughs> we got this great Bendelhaven here that's really going to help. All right, so we have the tools. Sure. Uh, we'll just play this land, be in combat. I really wish this land came into play untapped, and then I, I could cord for one here and attack. But it doesn't, because we have too many Blooming Marshes in the deck. But that's okay. That could be one of the ones that we would play regularly. So I shan't complain. I will complain no matter what, but I shan't complain. Whenever I'm mildly inconvenienced, I'll complain. Dress down? Sure. Okay, well, we murdered that person. Murdered that person. Uh, I guess we keep this, right? This hand seems pretty good. Posted to your list you made on Twitter. I want to wait a little bit and make sure that... I want to I want to play the format a little bit so I can give my uh, tier list some time to correct, you know, to self-correct. Nice. All right, so we're playing against um, we're playing against some kind of devoted druid deck, maybe some kind of combo y type of deck with cauldrons and devoted druids and stuff like that. Yeah. Yep. Guess I just have to kill this thing. I'm just going to play a Wall of Roots. Going to develop my board here. Okay, so what is our opponent up to? Okay, Ranger Captain between Hammer and Murph. Play Hammer. Play Hammer. Play Hammer. Merfolk might actually benefit from not having Fury, but I would I would play Hammer. I think Hammer is really good. I should just ball master this. Uh, we're toast, by the way. They should have attacked, and they could have pinged me. I don't know how we get out of this. I guess we get out of this by... Wall of Roots, one, two, Cauldron, so we can fight their nonsense. I think Wizard was light on those bands. Ten QPs. Let's see what we got for our reward. Food fight. Okay. I think we're in trouble here. It could. It could play Collector Oof. It could play Collector Oof. <laughs> you could play Collector Oof. You could do all kinds of stuff. I think we're in a lot of trouble. Oh, so this thing gets an additional counter. Whenever one of our cards leave your graveyard, put a plus one to on it. So it just grows forever. I get it. I get it. We can't block with either of these because of the nature of the cards. This is going to be an incredibly hard game to win. I should have just played Bowmaster on two to kill this. That's what I should have done. I shouldn't have played this. I should have Bowmastered this or played my own Cauldron. They might just die to the their own lands here all right um ba, 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 ba. all right i didn't want to cord for anything and just have it be pinged but maybe i should have so i guess we're gonna go one two stranger geist then bowmaster this stranger geist then they'll 
Oh god, I don't know what to do here. This is really complicated. I could not... Pl I don't want to put a Yogg in play. I guess I could just play a Grist and kill this. But then... They could have access to Grist. This is a really awkward situation, and I really don't know what to do. I guess we'll go one, two, three... One, two, play Stranger Geist. And then we'll pass the turn. Well, they just they ignored Pioneer for too long. They just kind of left it be on its own, and it should have been addressed a long time ago. It should have been addressed a long time ago. The car, like someone was set in chat was saying that carn ban is a year too late. All right, let's see how they attack, what they attack with, all that. Uh, I want to play Bowmaster here, and I want to ping this Strangaroo Geist. I want to ping this, and then I'm going to eat it with the Soul Cauldron. They'll eat in response here, but I can then, next turn, I'll be able to use Grist and put Grist in my Soul Cauldron or something like that. Let's eat their thing. They'll use the Soul Cauldron, but it's okay. Because we just got to get them to build up on a couple of creatures and then kill their thing. Alright, let's put a counter on Ballmaster. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do one cord. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get a Yog Moth. Yog, these are both, this is the, this is a human. So we'll just block with the Yog Moth here on this thing. Cause it's got pro human. Wow. Welcome. You're a little late, but it's okay. We're playing Yog Moth. What's up, Riza? How are you? Uh, I agree. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've been here the whole time. Isn't that a Taylor Swift song? All right, let's get Yogmoth. Now, I'm going to shoot this here to see if they want to use the cauldron. Bonk, bonk. Are you using the cauldron? Oh, yeah, I'm a Swifty big time. Who isn't a Swifty? Oh, were they putting the counter? All right, I'm going to shoot this thing now before they put a counter on it because I don't want them to be able to kill the Yogmoth. I don't want them to be able to shoot my Yogmoth and kill my Yogmoth. Uh. Get out of here. Sure. Okay. 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 And now I'm gonna block. Block here. Okay. We just want to keep their board clear. Devoted Druid. Alright. Um, let's kill this thing. Play Young Wolf. Shoot this thing. Oh, that's so good for us. Kill this. Maybe we should have got the Blood Ars first, but... Yeah. 
Yeah, I could have killed them there. That was a mistake. I should have killed them. Oh, the prelim match ended. Yeah, yeah, the prelim match. We mulliganed. I probably should have kept a, a hand that I didn't keep. And uh, All right, so let's put Wall of Roots in the cauldron. Let's put Wall of Roots on Yawgmoth. All right, so now we can cord for a wall of roots, or we could cord for a thing and kill this. I should just kill this. All right, so now I can go, what can I do here? I should kill this thing. Minus one, minus one. One, two, three. I don't think it's lethal. I don't think it's lethal, but I'm getting a blood artist. Shoot this, sack this. Save. It'll be lethal next turn, but I can't let him untap with this stupid thing. I have to kill this thing. I don't know what our opponent's thinking about. So we shoot this. It's not tough to learn. You only have so many options. This is easy. Yogg's easy. Oh, that killed the thing? Because it was a state. It died on state based actions. Oops. Eldomery's call. What are the Eldomery's calling for? Nope. Apparently, Wolf dies is a state-based effect because I can't remove the... Oh, they're getting a subtlety? What are they going to name here? They're going to kill what? Yeah, they don't cancel out. I agree. We're fine, though. We'll be all right. We will be okay. They only have one card in their hand. Who cares? They only have one card in their hands. What a weird game. What a weird game. Weird, 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 weird game. We have to put the Devoted Druid into the cauldron. Listen. Okay, they have a young wolf. All right, what do I want to do here? Let's exile their ranger captain. Put a counter on this. Play this. If we plus and hit a yog here, I'm going to cry. All right. I don't know what our, our opponent's just doing things. We're dead to Vizier. If they draw Vizier, we die. If they draw Eldomri's call, we... Uh, no, not really, because they need a way to kill us. Uh, they need a way to kill us. They need a way to kill us. Even if they have Vizier, they have a million mana, but they can't kill us because they don't have anything to do with it. I guess they could draw into something but i don't know next turn we're playing yogmoth and that will do things uh yeah it's it's not really i haven't played a lot of yog with cauldron i'll admit to that yeah They have a 3-3. Three, three. Cool. They can generate infinite mana now. As long as they're careful. 
You have to remove the counters before you... What are they doing? Okay, they have infinite mana. Infinite mana. Let's see what they drew. Am I dead? All right. We're playing Yogmoth. Right? We're playing Yogmoth. We're playing Yogmoth. We cannot put plus one plus one counters on this creature. If one or more plus one plus one counters will be put on any creature control, that many minus one. So we have to kill. We have to sacrifice our insect to kill this thing. Okay, they just threw the young wolf away. They made the same mistake as me. They made the same mistake as me. Okay, so now I'm going to remove a counter from this. <laughs> Or I could just add... I want to keep this cauldron in play. I want to keep this cauldron in play to stop them from using cauldron. I think we're okay. I think we're okay now. I think we're okay. All right. We're not going to use the cauldron because we just want to stop their cauldron. So now we just plus. We hit a grist. Oh, gross. All right. So now we just want to start killing these things. Put a counter on this. Play land. Put a counter on this. Sack. What's up, Jeremy? All right, so they're targeting Solitude. So this is going to give them two counters on this, right? Because they get a counter for the thing and they get another counter. So I'm just going to Bowmaster it now. I'm going to Bowmaster it now. All right. Oh, what a mess. 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 All right. So we want Rex Sage. We want Ooze to control the graveyard. Ooze. Fatal Push. This is some kind of druid nonsense. Uh, we'll probably want this and we'll probably want this. We'll probably want all these sort of things. What do we don't want? Young Wolf. I don't really need this. I don't know. It's all about this is gonna be all about cauldron. What the hell are bowmasters gonna do? We'll shave bowmasters. I guess bowmaster's okay. It kills a lot of their stuff. Kills a lot of their dudes. Alright, I don't really want to be on the draw against the deck that's playing walking ballista with too many X ones. So let's try this. Dude, Agatha's Soul Cauldron is so broken. This card is so silly. It's so beyond broken. Alright, this hand is absolutely trash. But... Are we playing... This is Dingo's Cauldron, so we're not playing any... We're not playing any good lands. Uh, I guess we'll keep... I guess we'll keep. We can turn to a Grist. Oh, we drew a Grist. I was going to evolution this thing to make a Grist, but that's way easier. Is that so the tulip feels busted? He's, yep, I agree. Yeah, it's very busted. It is very, very strong. It is very strong and very powerful. 
Devoted Druid. All right, so we could just die here. So I think I'm just gonna kill this stupid Devoted Druid. Unfortunately, we have to just kill this dumb thing. Because they could just go Vizier kill us. All right. <laughs> okay, they don't have anything. Good for us. Good for us. Plus. Play this land. And we're just going to chill. We'll just hold up Bowmasters and chill. <laughs> Maybe we cord for a one drop mana dork. Eh, we probably just Bowmaster. One, two, three. Ranger Captain of Eos. Oh, Skyclave Apparition. Well, that's annoying. Uh, yep. Interesting, they're playing this. Yeah, Gris dies. All right, so we're going to go one... I guess, yeah, it's probably better just to do Bowmaster. Bonk. Well, Pendlehaven's going to be really good here because they're going to be able to keep attacking. But then I like want a cord. One, two, three. One, two, three. I just am going to cord. Just going to pass the turn. Yeah, no Dryad Arbor. Imagine we're just sitting with these in our hand and we could have courted for Dryad Arbor like a million times over. But Dingo's like, if Dryad Arbor would be it. Yeah. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Might as well get... We'll get a uh, Wall of Roots so we can use these cords. Actually, we'll just get Strangle Root Geist. We have Evolution. We can Evolution the Geist for a Yogg. And then Cord. Alright, so now we're going to go 1, 2, 3. Evolution this. Get. Get Yogg. Get a Yogg Moth. Then we go 1, 2, 3. We'll just get a Blood Artist from this point. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I guess I don't have to. I guess. I guess I can't get another thing. So we'll go one, two, three. Just because these don't count, so we have to do it like this, like this to get. Blood Artist. We're just getting a Blood Artist here, and then we'll just sack all this stuff and do a bunch of things. All right, what do we got? We got Eldamri's Call for a... Uh, Eldamri's Call for a Solitude. Solitude, my Yawgmoth. Annoying. All right, shoot this, sack this. Shoot this like this. Shoot this like this. Shoot this like this. Alright, then we get our thing. Then we get the Yog gets swords. And we're just gonna get a Stranger Geist with this. We don't have a Stranger guys, so we'll just get Bowmaster. Ping. Alright, attack you. Yeah, if we had another Stranger guys, we would have got it, but we didn't. So we'll just present them with a clock of very lethal damage. Mm. The illusion off this is blue. Yeah, Sky Cave makes blue illusions. When it leaves a battlefield, XL cards owner with a blue illusion token. X equals the mana value of the XL card. 
It's Wolf and Geist. This is Dingo's list. This is Dingo's list. Which is two and two and two. Two, two, two. One. Because he's like, I'm going to want a cord to block up. Murktide. I'm like, okay. GG's. Last seen eight days ago playing Rakdos Scam. Oh, you hate to see it. Really, you hate to see Rakdos Scam players. So, hopefully they're not moved on to... They haven't moved on to Rhinos, but... We'll see what they have moved on to. We'll see what they have moved on to. Alright, let's fetch out a forest and let's play druid scam never heard of it it's gone it's actually called rakdos invoke by the way murktide makes sense this guy's a good player and murktide's a good deck um Boy, this birds looks terrible here. Just because we can't play it. I'm just gonna chill. Just gonna chill. Oh man, if we get to untap and evolution this into Yogg, ho ho ho. Yeah. I remember one time <coughs> playing the best new broken cards is always the best strategy. Alright, evolution, let's go. Don't make a land drop. And just let me go evolution, pop up ball. Oh, oh preordain? That's so good for me. That's not spell pierce for this evolution. I accept. This does give this delirium, but that's okay. God, I hate Delighted Halfling. I hate it. Uh, let me change the deck list. We're playing Dingo's Yogg now. Upload new. Browser upload file in Dingo's Yogg. Alright. Edit stream info. Yogg. All right, we're playing four cauldrons now, or two cauldrons. All right, so they're attacking. Unfortunately, we need to block. I wonder if I block like this, and then I can evolution the thing. No, because then it's still not that great. Let's just block with this. Let's see what we draw. Hmm... Let's see if they want to block this Stranger Root Geist. Let's see if they block the Stranger Root Geist with the DRC. Being combat. Let's attack here. Attack. Oh yeah. Do you want to trade? There's no way they trade, right? Oh, they do trade. Okay. Okay. Um. So now we're going to go one. And then we evolution away the birds. And then we get a grist here and we just plus grist. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Force negation, of course. Well, evolution does not look very good right there. Why keep an untapped island? Apparently I was baited. All right. Now we just lose to Murktide. Now we just lose to Murktide. Uh, yeah. Just dead. Just dead. Just dead. 
Force of Negation. Force of Negation, Subtlety, that's what makes this deck impossible to play against. It's because, like, Subtlety is such a backbreaker. Force of Negation is such a backbreaker. They all just randomly play God knows what and, you know, who knows. And I don't even think they know what the hell they're doing. They obviously know what they're doing. But, I mean, like, some play Subtlety, some play Force of Negation. It's just all over the place. And what are we drawing? Are we drawing another land? Are we drawing another land? What can we draw here? Can we draw something good? We're killing the thing. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we can cord for... I mean, now we're going to walk into Spell Pierce or something. But I guess we'll cord into Grist. Okay, or not. Or not. <clears throat> we'll do nothing and die to a murktide. Can I get a grist, please? No, we're not dead yet. Not dead yet. I'm doing this now in case they draw something. That's not a grist. Nope, it's not a grist. I go to one. Okay, well, that's a grist. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, let's go scavenging use. Let's go endurances. Let's go go for the throat. Let's go legion's end. I don't know about legion's end. We merc dead for sure. Let's cut evolution. Might be time for cavern of souls. <coughs> That sucked. We got destroyed. No, no, no. Maybe. I mean, it. we, we got to see how the meta develops. We have to see how the meta develops. How things change, right? We have a long, long way to go. Yeah, Murktide's going to be the back. That's why when we saw that tier list earlier... And the person thought Murktide was a B-tier deck? Like, I, I don't know, man. What do you... I don't know. Murktide's really good. When you're on the wrong side of Murktide, it's a bad place to be. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. I used to have a reasonable record against Murktide, but it was always very play-draw dependent. Okay, we'll keep. No, DRC... Did we lose? Were you on the play there? I was on the play. I was on the play and I lost. Uh oh. Hmm. Just the, just the force of negation won them the game. The fact that we couldn't get something going with the force of negation to destroy our thing. Merktide is free for Yogg. I don't know. I've lost to it twice today. I've lost to it. I've well once today so far. Let's get a delighted halfling. We lost to force negation. We lost to subtlety. Delighted halfling will be killed, or hopefully they hopefully they play a DRC. But I don't think he's. I don't think they're dumb enough to play a DRC here. All right. Um, I'm going to. I could play this, but. I'm just going to Strangaroo and attack. I just want to get the Strangaroo underneath the permission. So I could just swing with it. And then I can hold up the Bowmaster. Then like at the end of their turn I can Bowmaster them. And then 
if the bowmaster gets countered, then I can play Yogg. Their attack with Ragavan. This could be a Blood Moon angle, but yeah. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to put pressure on them here. We have the Besaju, so we're protected from a Blood Moon. Besaju is such a good land. All right, Preordain. Now we're going to attempt to get them. Crazy. All right. So now we can resolve Yogg with this in play. Just as long as they don't have stupid subtlety. I'll be so mad if I get subtlety again. I'll be frustrated if we get subtlety. Okay, well, let's jam it. One, two, three. Yog. Subtlety? Oh my goodness. All right, should I draw a card and put this card? Yeah, I'm going to draw a card here. Sacrifice, done. Thank you. I just want to hit them for as much damage as possible, and I want to draw a card. Okay. Smash. And if they go to bolt this thing, I just draw another card, and I don't care. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's... Play an ignoble hierarch. Does this get countered? See, we're like underneath them. We're underneath them, and it feels so good. Uh, let's shoot this into this. Let's draw some cards. Let us draw some cards. Ooh, that's a card. Uh, let's pay one life. Jump to Rager, done. Thank you. Cards, 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 cards. Ooh, cards. Wall of Roots. Oh, I've been shut down. Okay. I'll take... Turn off auto yield. Should I proliferate here? Should I fetch a swamp and proliferate, dumping the Besaju? And that does one, two, three, four, five. That puts them to four. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think we need to do that. It's possible that they do some some shenanigans. Yeah. I wish I had Arbor. We don't have Arbor, right? Like once again, I'm gonna rewatch these replays with Dingo later, and I'm gonna point out how not having Arbor is like. Arbor, crack fetch Arbor here. Is he playing Arbor? No, he's not playing Arbor. Like, use the whole point of Arbor is like. All right, DRC, sure. The old 1 1 DRC of shame. The 1 1 Darcy of shame. Bobble, okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's fetch out a the swamp here with this. No, that's actually not fetched. We we can we'll hold this up. We don't have to fetch. What are we doing? Are they going to unholy heat my Yog Moth? Just let it die. I could shoot this thing. But they only have one mana open. So I think I'm going to just... I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's see what they do with this. I think I just let this go. Force them to attack me. But the problem is they're going to play a... Yeah, I mean, there's not much I could do about it. I could just shoot this. I could double proliferate this, dumping this and this, and then make this big enough so that it just swings into them. 
they have to block it. Uh, I could just double proliferate this and just go make this a 5-4 that they have to trade. I like that. I'm just going to do that. Done. We're done with the point of Yogg being useful. We're just going to make this thing big. I will be in combat. Be in combat. Attack you. DRC. Okay. So now they'll play a Murktide. And if they have Murktide plus Counterspell, they'll win. And if they don't, we'll win. Here comes the Murktide. Now the question is, do they have Murktide plus Counterspell? Oh, doesn't matter. They're dead. Crest. Counterspell. Yay. Okay. We got there. Pretty good. I think I want... I think I want a Fatal Push to deal with the DRC early. I'm not sure about Legion's End and DRC. I should have a Legion's End in this deck, I think. I should be playing Legion's End over maybe this. And maybe this. They're not going to be playing Ragavans. No. Oh, there's no way. There's no way that this person plays Ragavans in game three. No way. No way. All right. We have a bet. A gentleman's a gentleman's bet. A gentleman's and even if they do, I mean, I have a young wolf. Who cares? A gentleman's agreement that we have a wager. We got some trading spaces wager for a dollar. Merktide be wildin'. Not. No Murktide. No, no Ragamans. Um, I think that they have a Bolt. But if they want to Shock and Bolt this, I'm fine with it. Okay. Ooh, piece of candy. So we're gonna go one, two, wall of roots. Aw, fun, please. Next turn we have an uncounterable boy. Expressive iteration. Next turn is really good for us. I mean, especially when you're on the draw, right? Ragavan has two mana do deal two damage, but yeah. Obvious subtlety. I mean, what can I do? You know? I can only do so much. Alright, so we are going to not play the Yogmoth this turn. We're just gonna do a setup turn. We're gonna do both of these. The Yawgmoth on this battlefield doesn't do much, and they just proliferate it or whatever. So we're going to go one, two, three, play Endurance. Boink and boink. I don't think the Yog does much on this board with just a Halfling. I'd much rather wait till next turn and then like play the Yogg with the with you know whatever. Play the Yogg with a full board. Otuara. Okay, so let's go play you and let's go black, 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 black. Uh uncounterable schmogmoth. Uncounterable Schmogmoth, the Thran Schmizician. All right, so let's swing for four. Swing for four. And then we'll sacrifice this and see if we can hit a one drop. Well, the problem is when you play too many random crazy spells like Force of Negations and stuff, if you, I don't know, 
All right, let's sack this and draw a card. See if we can hit a one drop or something, and then we'll probably stop after this. Ooh. We've played a land. We can hold up the push. What's up, MTG Michael? We're just chilling. We're in a pretty good spot here. Preordain. Yeah, this is fine. You know what they don't have? You know what they can't find? Fury. You know what doesn't exist right now? Fury. You know how nice it is knowing they can't go like Fury, your board away, Unholy Heat, your Yogg, or something stupid like that? Oh, man. So good. It feels so good. Brotherhood's end. Okay, so we're going to go shoot this like this. And Brotherhood's End resolves. You got it. It's tough. It's tough. It's a tough one. That one. That one really showed me. Um, shock yourself. Let's kill the Yog. Um. I think I let this go, right? Yeah, I mean, I have five power on the board. And I think I cored for another endurance here. Once again, I would get Dryad Arbor here, Dingo, when we're playing, when you were watching this VOD. I would get Dryad Arbor here. Let's get another, let's get another endurance here. Endurance. Thank you. All right. We could still lose this game. I mean, Murktide could fill up the graveyard. Okay, smack, smack. All right, they need two threats, two trumpers. They need some answers for this stuff. Okay. They need bobble plus heat heat. Yay. Yay. All right. I'm going to get up and stretch real quick while the next queue happens. I'll see you guys in a minute. Uh, I guess we'll keep. Kahira, they're on blue eye control. Or blue, just guy control. Or they could be on five color elementals. We'll see. Hopefully they don't play Ren and Six. As long as they don't play Ren and Six against this hand we have. All right, let's get a Overgrown Tomb and let's play an Ignoble Hierarch. <coughs> don't have Ren and Six. Just pass, just pass, just pass. Don't kill my guy. Don't kill my guy. Don't ki yay! They didn't kill my guy. Yay! 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 Okay, we live to fight another day. Boy, if they killed that thing, that would be. They can't fury me. My creatures are safe from Fury Me. Fury Me. What are they doing at the end step here? They're gonna march one of my dudes. They're gonna Lorian. Okay. Lorian for steam breaths. Oh no. 
that sucked. That sucked. That stunk. Attack. Smash. A baby fury. A baby fury. Alright. So hopefully... I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, who knows? Who knows what they're doing? It's obviously blue-eyed control. <laughs> they're in the tank. I guess they're determining if they want to play a Teferi and bounce or... What they want to do or what they want to think. It's possible last turn I should have Elch Revolution this to a Grist. Maybe that was a better play, but I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what... Alright, fire my guy? Sure. Can I draw a land? That's pretty good. Begin... Begin attack attack. I'm just gonna play the Bowmaster's main phase. No, maybe maybe I'll just EOT them. No, I want them to resolve. I want these things to resolve. I don't want to walk into a counter spell. Right. Okay. Alright. Supreme verdict. They're dumping a subtlety for my bowmaster. I'm gonna put this on the bottom. Fuck it. Oh, I know what they're doing. They're probably doing the, like, Narset Days Undoing stuff. I bet you they're going to play a Narset here. God, they're losing so much life. Oh, pending? Why are they taking so much damage? Pending, pending. Oh, okay, cool. Well, this evolution looks terrific. I should have evolution the goddamn halfling on turn one. Well, we've been fired, fired, pending, pending, subtlety. Feels good, man. Well, the old blue eye control didn't play subtlety. So, I don't know. I'm going to attack with this delighted halfling. Attack you. Uh... Do I want to do this? Yeah, what the hell? They have counterspell, they have counterspell. Oh, they don't even have counterspell. Crazy. Grist. What the hell is this? Binding? Ugh. I was so bored with this card. I hope this card would go away after Beanstalk, but apparently they just can't quit the binding. Uh, I could cord here for a Bowmaster. I'd love to get a Dryad Arbor here. Again, get the Dryad Arbor. I wonder if I'm supposed to get Strangerootgeist over Bowmaster. Bowmaster gets blanked by, uh, the Kahira card. So let's just swing with this. They're only at six, right? If they were to play the four two, the three two, uh, then I like wouldn't be able to pay. Being combat, being combat attack. What we got? We got ice. Sure. Ice on my fingers, on my neck, and on my veins. All right, let's get this Grist here. What a wonderful Grist. Grist is so good. Grist goes up. Your turn. Everyone should follow Mercurio. Yeah, I agree. Mercurio stream's awesome. Very late night, very chill. Very chill, very late night. What do we got here? Teferi. Okay, what are we bouncing? Teferi's probably bouncing... Uh, I'll keep the one at four. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and shock that. Go ahead. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five. I guess we can use this Takanuma. That'll be very exciting. 
Might as well use this Takanuma. I love this. I guess I'll get a Stranger back. Plus. Yield through the turn. Smack. I guess I need to kill. Eh, no, we're just killing. We're going all face. Face is the place. Makario, thank you for giving out a gifted sub. I appreciate it. All right. So, luckily, we have no form of interaction with them. I mean, this card is okay if it goes in the cauldron, but they have too much pending, too much whatever. We're literally boarding in two spells here. Thank you, Mercurio. Thank you, Mercurio. Thank you, Mercurio. I didn't want to go too ham there, Kostya. I didn't want to go too ham because they could be playing subtlety. Solitude, I mean. So if I, like, go too ham and they have a solitude, I'm kind of doomed. Right? But I could have sacked the Grist. I should have, could have sacked the Grist, killed the other thing, but then that plays too much into solitude. If they like solitude that untap, you know, verdict and binding, right? There's no re like, there's no reason to. Plus, they have to get rid of the grist because it goes to five. You know, uh, we kind of get ourselves. All right, so we want these cards, and we probably want endurances to be able to play at flash speed. I don't think we want birds and ignobles. We could cut this. We could cut this. We probably don't want this, right? I think we want to have these things to be able to play at flash speeds. Uh, the rest of the stuff we probably don't want. We could play Fulminator over, like, Evolution. But it doesn't seem like they're playing Counters Balls. But we'll, we'll play this, a version like this. God, Gris is such a good card in the control matchup. Thank you, Mercurio. I appreciate you, buddy. Very kind of you, Mercurio. Thank you for the for the love and support. Crazy here, thank you as well for giving a gifted sub. I appreciate it. <laughs> on the board. I appreciate you. Uh the uh let's Bowmaster. No Fury could be good, yeah. I think Bowmaster is kind of just so bleh. But we'll see how it plays out. We'll see how it plays out. All right. This hand's good. We can hopefully get underneath them. Hopefully we'll go turn one ignoble. They'll kill it on turn two and we can resolve the cauldron. I'm kind of not too keen on this cauldron because of pending. I think pending is going to come back. Thank you, Mercurio, again. All right. So we're going to yield this turn and we're just going to go forest. Forest Ignoble. Bonk, bonk. God, the one drop speed this deck up so much. Gracias por favor del solution. The Raja thanks a lot. Endurance and a Bowmaster. Yeah. I think Bowmaster might be a really good sideboard card moving forward. Okay, so now we have a choice. I think we want to. I don't think we want to jam the Grist. So I think I'm just going to play the Halfling, and I'm going to hold up Bowmasters. I think that's going to be my play for the turn. And then next turn, if all goes well, we have Uncounterable Grist plus Bowmaster. And if they do land a Counterspell here, I will probably play Cauldron? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It depends on what the meta becomes. If if Murktide becomes a larger part of the meta, then definitely Endurance can come back into the main deck. Stern Scolding. Okay. Um, now the question becomes, what do I want to resolve? Do I want to resolve Agatha's, or do I want to resolve Bowmaster? I think the answer is I wish to resolve Bowmaster. No, they play too many fires. I could see playing this into fire... This goes into plays into pending. This plays into fire. I think I'm gonna get Agatha's though. I think I want this to resolve. Oh. Alright, yield to the turn. This way my next spell will be uncounterable. 
That would be exciting. Yeah, they could have Teferi and bounce this. Looks like they got nothing. They ain't got crap, but we have uncounterable. Uncounterable crest. Do you like that? You like the uncounterable? Oh, okay. They're pitching a supreme verdict for this. This seems a bit unnecessary. Uh, we'll put on the bottom. We don't really need that. Uh, ba -ba -ba. We're going to have to shock ourselves again here for this. Play this. Really? Okay. Okay. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. What just happened? What I just witnessed? All right. What is four mana? What are they going to cast here with four mana? The one ring. Oh, my. All right. Let's eat this subtlety. The one ring's pretty good here, for sure. Pretty, pretty good here. All right, so let's play this. Let's go one, two, three. Play a Grist plus the Grist. Hit Yogg? No, I definitely want to put Bowmasters in play. I want to do it now because I don't want them to like click this and then have Counterspell. I just want to put this in play. Uh, I'm gonna hit this. Okay. Like, I know that there's a way we can, like, try and get them with the Bowmaster when they click the thing, but I don't want to take that risk that they... Oh, God. That's so bad for me. Max punished for doing what I did. Okay. Uh, let's exile their Supreme Verdict. Max punished for doing all this stuff. Oh, it's Yogg. Well, I guess I should plus first. Plus. Oh, we got a Yogg. One, two, three, four. Play Yogg. Let's put Yogg in the cauldron. Counter. Okay, this seems pretty, pretty, pretty good for us. They do have an active ring, which is pretty, pretty, pretty bad for us. But we have two Yogs here. Our cauldron is doing work. <laughs> they have seven cards in hand. Crazy, so many cards. Our cauldron's living on borrowed time, for sure. We're probably going to lose this game. Just cold to the ring. Um, let's see what happens here. Maybe they'll die to their own ring. That would be nice. Yeah, the ring's crazy. Cursed totem. Okay. All right. Um, I think we should draw a card here. Yeah, this card should have been like one per one of one, you know? You're only allowed to have one of these in your deck or something like that. That's what it should have been. Okay, well, Cursed Totem is out. That's really annoying. Big problem for us. Big problem for us. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's not bad. Uh, let's eat a young wolf. Put the counters on that. Back. Now the question is, do we want to play the Bowmaster? Or do we want to try and get sneaky? Let's get sneaky. Let's try and get sneaky. See? This is what happens when you try and get fucking sneaky. 
you just always lose. Sucks. Right? I tried to get sneaky. I should just main phase that shit. Tilt. Pengyo. Tried to get sneaky. They're gonna bounce their ring. They're gonna bounce. They have eight cards in their hand. The fact that we don't have any control cards in the sideboard, no thought seizes, no nothing. Nice. Fun. 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 Fun, fun, fun. The ring is fun for everyone. Yeah, I agree. It should have been like experience counters or it should have been you can only have one of it per deck. Right? Like the one ring, the one ring. Plusing to fairy there was pretty dumb. Because we had... Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Rex Sage. I don't know. The problem is if people are playing pending again, they just pending the, you know. You have to see how the meta, meta develops because, like, if you're playing against Murktide, they're just going to stern scolding and, like, you know. All right, what are we subtleting? We are subtleting what? My Yogmoth. Sure. Okay. So this comes into play. We kill Cursed Totem. Yes. Now, what do we need to do? We need to activate this target solitude. What do we hit ignoble hack? These already produce mana. So let's get the subtlety. Let's put a counter on Bowmaster. Now we need to kill this Teferi. We can we can sack this. Let's start drawing cards. Pay one life, choose a one because you're done. Ugh. If we had this land come into play untapped, we could discard Yogmoth, proliferate, and kill the Teferi. And that would have been very good for us, but instead we have another blooming marsh. Uh, attack, Teferi, attack, Teferi. Yep. I really wish this land came into play untapped and we could have proliferated this. No! See, this is like... I don't know. Should we draw cards here? I should probably draw a card off this orc army. Should probably draw a card. Oh, I should have done that on the main phase. All right, three cards left. What do we think that the three cards in their hand are? All right, let's play this. Shit. All right, I'll put this on top. Okay. We're working very hard here. We're binding the Bowmaster. Oh, no. Cauldron just doesn't... Cauldron just doesn't seem good against pending, binding, all this stuff. It just seems like we got demolished by the ring. I don't know. Replay the ring. Seven cards in their hand. Yeah, okay. All right. We lost to the ring. Crazy. Who would have guessed? Uh, We can't play this card... Like, they have pendings, and just, this card just doesn't seem good.
Yeah, I guess we'll do this. They keep like I don't know. Let's cut. Let's not play the cauldron. Let's just not play this. Two force of vigors might be too many, but we'll see. I don't know. The cauldron did work, but I don't know if we want it. Maybe we'll have one cauldron, one force of vigor. I think I want ignoble on the play too. I'm gonna just keep ignobles in. I want to go fast. I want to be able to overwhelm them very fast with ignobles and halflings and stuff. I know they're playing fire ice, but I mean, I don't know. We're on the play. It's kind of funny. The one phase I main phase Bowmasters and it like hurt me. And then the other time I held them and that hurt me too. So I don't know what the best time to play Bowmasters is. I guess this just should always be instant speed. What if we try Magus of the Moon again? It might be worth it. These mana bases are looking mighty greedy. We'll have to see. The problem is Magus is only good if you're playing Evolutions. Because if you're not playing Evolutions, then like Magusing it like for four or whatever is kind of crappy and kind of hard to do. You're right. You're right. You're right. I forgot that I had brought in Fulminator. <laughs> I guess Fulminator can stop the the. We could kill the. Uh, we can kill the triomes, I guess. But yeah, you're right. You're totally right. You are correct. I brought. I. I don't know. Fulminator seems so. Magical Christmas land. I would just love to have thought seizes. Alright, turn one, dork, it's gonna die. Yeah, we'll keep. We'll go turn one halfling. Or do you go turn one high arc? Uh I'm gonna play high arc. All right, don't kill my guy, don't kill my guy, don't kill my guy, don't kill my guy, don't kill my guy. Don't kill my guy, don't kill my guy, don't kill my guy. Just all I need is you not to kill my dude. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. So we're going to go one, two, all of roots. All right, minus one. Look at how good this turn is. Oh. So good. So good. One, two, three. Next turn we have one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five mana. Uncounterable Yawgmoth. Ugh. And we can't get Furied? Oh, it's so good. It's too good to be true, to be honest. Too good to be true. I imagine we're going to get subtletyed, but that's just so annoying. Gets the anger of the gods? No, that costs three mana. That costs three mana. We have two mana. Look at this. Look at how good this turn was because of this. It just bleh. Just all this stuff on the board. I guess it wasn't that much different than if we just went one, two, one into one. Rest in peace, sure. One, two, three, four, Yogmoth. I want to sacrifice this to try and get a land. Land? Oh. Well, that would be pretty good next turn. Uh. Be in combat, be in combat, attack. Oh, I want to fulminate this land so bad. Well, I'm glad we cut the cauldrons against rest in peace. Cauldron has always just had this crazy weakness. Yeah, Rex Age is looking impressive. They're gonna binding the Yog here. 
I'm gonna let him do it. It doesn't really affect me. I don't really need cards, I think. I think I just let this go. And then I just go one, two, three. A Reckle of Fulminator Mage. Boop. Thank you. Hey, yeah. Hopefully that hurts him pretty badly. Oh, guess not. Guess not. Guess they have infinite fixing. I should have probably sacked some of this stuff. All right. Uh, I'm not gonna jam this Strangerroot Geist into a verdict. I wish I had a Thoughtseize to like Thoughtseize my opponent here and take their verdict. Cause I'm just super cold the verdict here. We're icing that. Sure. We have iced that. Uh I could go one, two, Strangaru attack. Then they go land verdict. I'm doing it. Cause I can bowmasters if they verdict me. Whatever. Cowabunga it is. If they do have a verdict, we still have Bowmasters. Gross. 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 Do you have verdict? What is Yogg should on Titan? Because... When Yogmoth goes uninteracted with, Titan doesn't really interact, and Yogmoth can kind of goldfish. When like when our dorks aren't killed or we weren't aren't messed with, right? Like we would have won this game if they didn't have rest in peace and they didn't, and we still had the Yogmoth in play. Like we would this game would have been over. You know what I mean? And sometimes Amulet stumbles, and when you're able to force a vigor. Or thought sees the way they're tighten and disrupt them a little bit. When Yogg is gold fishing, it just wins very quickly. That's sort of been Yogg's MO for a while now. Like, I turn three to, you know, like, because Amulet doesn't interact, right? Their interaction is maybe a dismember. So, we're going to lose this game, by the way. Because now they have sol Solitudes up. And now we're going to attack and they're going to Solitude and we're going to lose. I'm actually not going to attack. Yeah. I don't trust them. Crazy. All right. No, we can't cord with these. We're so dead. I guess we're not dead <laughs> if we draw a Force of Vigor. Yep. I mean, Endurance blocks this, so that's something. Solid. Oh, God. Land? Okay, we're dead. Well, <clears throat> I guess we can wait another turn. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, all we had to do was just play a thought season and just take this and we would have won oh well oh well there's the land tilt 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 okay we'll keep there's no card like that like you could play heroic intervention but you're better off just playing thought seize, right Heroic Intervention 
is very situational and it's hard oh my goodness they're up to some they're up to no good secrets of the key they're up to some no goodness okay up to some no goodness M. Hayashi's out here being a wild man <clears throat> investigate how many people the prelim ended a long time ago it ended a while ago can't believe we lost to that yeah I agree I agree turn off hold on hold on hold on turn off auto yield let's get a swamp And now we can play Bowmaster. Bonk. Which does make it make sense, yeah. Alright, so now we're gonna go one two. No, one yeah, one two, wall of roots. One Three grist. Okay. Mm, I'll put this on top. Uh, youth of turn, attack with this. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised I haven't gotten rid of this Besage you. All right, so let's go one, two, grist. Subtlety? <laughs> sure. We'll put this on top. Now we'll go one, two. Oh, no, I tapped the wrong mirror. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. I'm just an idiot. Just an idiot. That was a punt. That was a very, very big punt. It doesn't matter. I mean, we're going to crush this fool. We're going to crush him. I mean, I guess if they decide to feel the ruin my land here and shuffle away the grist, unless they must be sitting on another subtlety. That's the only reason why they're not shuffling it away is because their last card is another subtlety. One, two, uncounterable grist. Grist. Do you have another subtlety? No, you don't. Okay, well, let's put this up. Let's discard a Yogmoth. No, we didn't get a Yog. One, two, cauldron. Okay. All right. That showed me. That showed me. <laughs> Guess I needed to make that uncounterable, but I made Grist uncounterable. Yup. And they have Brazen Borrower here. Yep. All right, so this goes up. Uh, you might as well play this land. Yield through the turn. Attack, 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 attack. And they'll play Brazen Borrower. They have six in the air. I'm at 20. I have, they could kill this. I'm swinging for five a turn. Mm -hmm. I just need to draw a Yog Moth. Yup. All right, give me a cord. An evolution, something, 
Ugh. Oh my god. Stupid. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. So we swing, 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 swing. They'll pop this for two. They'll block this. They'll take two. That's not worth it. It's not worth it, unfortunately. Not worth throwing a body away. We're going to lose this game, by the way. Because we refuse to draw the card Yogg. We refuse to draw the card Yogmoth. What's up? All right, let's draw. All right, well, that's something. That's exciting. So we could take three at a time. Secrets. Less than 10% chance. Well, we have four evolutions, or two evolutions, four yogs, and then cords. So it's higher than 10%. We have 12 cards, or 10 cards that are yogs. We have 10 yogs in the deck right now. 10 yogs. Ten Yogg Moths in this deck right now that we can draw. They're just sitting there derping. Y yep. So one fourth of our cards are Yogg's after they kill this Blosh Booming Marsh. Nice. They could start swinging the halls at us. Yeah, but who knows what they're doing. Engineered explosives in a one color deck. Oh, sweet. This useless fucking card. Uh, I guess I'm getting Gris back. This turn, this card takes your entire turn. It just just be a peat land. This should just be a fucking peat land. Like taking your entire turn. Uh, grump, grumble, grumble, grumble. Yup. I'm gonna get destroyed by this deck. All right, one, two, three. We have to do this. We have to evolution here. This gets countered and we're done. Okay, that was fun. That was uh, great fun. All right, let's get evolutions out of here. Let's get Fulminator Mages. Let's get... These stupid cards. Let's get this stupid card. They're probably gonna have. They're probably gonna have. Curse totem. Uh, let's cut this. Let's cut. Cut this. We probably want endurances to battle with their creatures. We probably want endurances. We probably they don't really have much removal on one, right? They're not gonna have much removal. So we can kind of keep these. I don't know what I want to cut. I don't know what the right cards to cut are here. Like, using this Fulminator to kill their... Uh, to kill their stupid man land seem good. Maybe just cut high arcs. But again, they don't really have much removal. So, like, maybe they're good. Maybe we don't need Haywire Might. They didn't show us any artifacts. I mean, the only one that they would bring in would be Curse Totem. So we'll bring in this. We'll cut a cord. And we'll cut... Well, not, they don't, I guess the clues, they draw with clues. Um, maybe we'll cut a Grist. Alright, let's try this. We 
This thing doesn't do anything. All right, we'll keep this. I don't know. This is Dingo's version of the deck. Dingo thinks that he's cracked the meta, but... All right, let's cut this cord. We'll just go turn one, turn two, turn three. Hopefully we'll get to turn four eventually. Dingo wanted to get into positions where you could cord for Birds of Paradise as a flying blocker. That's why he thought it was a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea. I think the Exalted is just better. But I'm trying someone else's list, so we're just trying to see if they have good ideas or I'm trying my buddy's list. So we'll see. We'll see how it ends up. But so far, I'm miserable. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, very edge case. I, I completely agree. I think if you're going to do something like that, I think you want to play Gilded Goose. I think Gilded Goose does a very good job of that because you can also use the utility of the thing. You know what I mean? Like there's an inherent utility of the life gain of the Gilded Goose. So I think that if you wanted to play a one of fun of like that, I would play Gilded Goose as opposed to Birds of Paradise. But it ain't my call. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I cannot just jam this into Counterspell. So we'll attack and then we'll Endurance at the end of turn. And if the Endurance gets countered, then we will be free and clear to play the Grist. What if you own a fancy Birds of Paradise? Dude, I have all a set of unlimited... Uh, I have a set of revised ones, and it makes me very, very, very happy to play. But uh, the fact is, I just can't do it, you know? I can't do it. They just are not as good as Halfling. But sometimes Halfling's so much better. I don't know. I'm playing this Endurance. Would you like to counterspell it? Do you want to counterspell this? Oh, you want to subtlety it? Oh, of course you do. All right, I'll put this on the bottom, I suppose. So I just want to draw land and play Yogg. Right. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, let's jam Grist into Counterspell. Oh, my God. Once again, we have an opportunity to get Grist, uh, to get Dried Arbor here for zero cost. Get Dried Arbor, Resolve Yogg, have more creatures to mess with. But instead... Because we're going to get this, right? And they're not going to use the thing because they're sitting on Subtlety. And they're going to Subtlety our Yogg Moth. But whatever. We're just going to fucking do it into the Subtlety. They couldn't have tapped their shit fast enough to do what they like they couldn't have tapped that fast enough they're like bah, 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 bah. okay you gotta calm down over there what is this oh it activates this the thing cool why are they not attacking what why did they not attack What's the point of not attacking with this? Do you have another counter spell? Do you have a dismember? Do you have something? Alright, add two mana, use this ability to activate mana of land. One, two, three. Of course. Oh, they countered the undying? What? Why don't they just counter the the Yogg? I'm very confused. Oh, they have a dismember. Okay. Okay. Oh, they get to activate all of the storm giants here and destroy me. Oh, this is great. If I draw land, I'm okay. I'm just dead. I just got hosed. 
I got demolished by M. Hayashi here. I guess I could play birds. I could cord for... How do I win this game? I play birds. I'm just dead. Just dead. Dead to the, the land. They had everything. They had everything. We had very little. I don't know. This didn't do anything. Soul Cauldron didn't do much. I don't know. The decks we the times we lost, we got destroyed. The T Rex dinosaur. I don't know. The times we lost, we got destroyed. I don't know what we're doing with Legion's end. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We went five and four on the day. Five and four, not great. We start.